So guys, busting tables. In front of me, I have all the plates that you will find on the table when the guests are finished with their meal. Four people, two tafel spits, one backhander, one goulash, side dishes for the tafel spits, sauces, and a kartoffel for a salad. When the guests are done and you have to bust the tables, those are the plates that will be there. I will show you how I do it. I prefer to take all the plates at once. I don't need to make two courses to the kitchen, upload, come back, I'm wasting valuable time. So, let's start. What I do first is I go with the big plates. Those plates, I take it first. Of course, if you want to, if you work in an upscale restaurant, you're gonna have to follow the etiquette, and etiquette says that take the plates from the ladies first. You're gonna have to follow this. But right now we're talking about casual dining, we're talking about 90% of the restaurants, how you can do it. You take it, of course you go from the right side of the guest, you take it with the right hand, and you put the plate on the left hand. Because that's your hand that carries the plates, guys. And you go for the big one again. Put it in an angle. Now, you have created for yourself a platform. And you can put a lot of things on this. As long as you have a strong hand, you will impress your guests. Then we go for the round. First, we, talk, we take all the main plates. And that's what you do. Now, guys. Now, guys. Those plates are empty, but most of the time, not most of the time, but sometimes the guests are not finished with their meal, they don't eat everything, there are some particles here that um, stay on the plate and uh, that's, that's something that's going to bother you, but there is, a, there is a solution for everything. So, we talk about it later. Two plates. You create a platform, then you put the main plate on your hand and on the second plate. Now, we're going to stack here all the empty plates. And, you go further, then you upload this one, you go for the second one. You put all the empty plates here neatly stacked. Put this here. Then you go here. The table is bus. Now, this thing is about eight kilos you gotta run to the kitchen fast because otherwise it's gonna break your hand but when you're finished and you turn your back to the kitchen to the table you can help yourself with the right hand and just carry because it's heavy and if you're trying to carry with one hand it's gonna be really a problem uh, most of the time you're not gonna be able to walk 20 meters or 30 meters with uh, with all those plates but that's how you bust the table now, there's some rules that I will explain you later. And uh, they are very important because, like I said, we don't carry empty plates in the restaurant. Most of the times, those plates have some sauce, they have some meat, they have some garniture left, and you have to be careful with that. But, the most important thing to know is you take the main plates first, you create a platform for yourself, and then you can stack everything else 
on the plate that stays next to your hand and all the side dishes and the silverware everything goes here in those two if you don't have big plates like that if everybody has ordered chicken parmesan or fried chicken or something like that and those are the plates that you do do you have on the table it's the same way guys you just go like that and you go like that and then all the small plates empty plates go here everything that you can stack here you stack here because that's as close to your shoulder and you can carry more weight like that if you stack it here on this plate it's going to be three times more heavy and you're not going to make it so everything goes here it's easier to carry and all the small plates and the silverware goes in those two plates okay Pretty much that's all about it. Now, of course, you bust the tables with your right hand, the plates from the right side of the guest. Are you finished? Yes. You take the plate, go back, and you transfer the plate to your left hand. Then you go to the next guest, and you don't have to ask no more. Once you ask the table is finished and they say they're finished, you just go ahead and collect all the plates. Now, we're moving forward. So as the other point about busting plates from the table. What I'm watching is, and it's important because it makes my job easier, all the task, you know, is those plates that have food on it like right now let's say this is food here this is food here and there's some potatoes left on this plate and this plate this guy ate everything so this is empty what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the food the plates that still have food on it first and make my platform with this place okay then I'm gonna go for the empty plate to make this here. So I don't have to bother with this moving this plate, this foot uh, from one plate to another plate. But of course, when it's like that and this plate is with, still with some foot, and you have to stack it here. You cannot leave it uh, here or anywhere. So you put it here. You take a knife or a fork or whatever from the table and you just push it a little bit nice and easy or if it's like that you can take it and just move it and you have another empty plate and then you can keep stacking everything else and if there is some little thing here you can do the same thing you can take a fork and a uh, messer or whatever knife just take it put it on the side and keep stacking of course i'm trying to avoid this moving food from one plate to another that's why i always go first for the plates that have some food on it and i use it for my platform then i don't have to bother with moving food it's not nice in front of the guests but we have to do it because there is no other way and plus you're wasting time and this thing is heavy and now it's waiting on my left hand and I'm just really getting really tired and if you do it for this table and the next table and the next table and the next table and all day long you will get tired guys so try to be quick and efficient and that's why I'm telling you always watch who has something left in its plate take it first and then go and stack the empty plates nice and easy and run to the kitchen to about that's pretty much cover all the basic stuff 